When I was eight years old, I promised myself I would never buy an Apple computer and be a PC user for life. But with Apple's new 16-inch M3 Max MacBook Pro out, I had no option but to disappoint yet another person in my life. Now, I know this MacBook has been out for a couple months, but we're gonna have to test it out and see how it holds up. Well, since I don't have to be held up in my gaming gym to do computer work, I'm gonna graze sunlight for the first time in my life with this MacBook Pro by my side. I'm driving up to Breckenridge with my editors for a work trip, and trust me, I'll be using this thing plenty throughout the day. We finally arrived at the house. It takes just a minute to get up here into the mountains, but we're gonna go inside, chill a little bit, relax, talk about some content strategies, now, I bought the 16-inch space black version of the MacBook Pro, which contains the M3 Max chip, 48 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte SSD. Now, I love Windows, but there's something to be said with just how crispy Apple makes their MacBooks look. But I will say, if you get the space black color, it's a uh, kind of a fingerprint magnet. But we can't judge a book by its cover, which is tempting because your boy doesn't read. Now, I'm about to mirror what's on my MacBook Pro here onto the TV and I must say I'm just not used to all these you know fancy features with the MacBook I'm just used to the standard window stuff that may just not have it quite yet but what's an absolute game changer for me is now being able to airdrop things specifically from my MacBook over to the editors now one of the things that pains me to admit that this MacBook Pro has over Windows is battery life. I would be using my Windows laptop and I would get about 90 minutes into my work day and the battery would be absolutely dead. The first couple days that I had the M3 Max, I would be going for several days and the battery would be roughly at 60%. And as of right now, we are starting at 96% battery life. So let's see where we end up. Hey, if you want Christmas off, get back to work. No. But if I wanted to stay at home and work, I wouldn't have bought this MacBook Pro. So we went looking around for a cafe so that me and the boys, well, we could have a change of scenery. Dude, it only took us about an hour to find parking here downtown. But we finally also found a table at the local coffee shop. So we're gonna sit down, do some work, crank out some edits, really put this MacBook to the test. Now, when I say this laptop is a workhorse, I mean it. We have Adobe Premiere Pro running on this thing at Millinote. I mean, a million different Google Chrome tabs. And I am not seeing this thing lag a single bit. I've been recently wanting to improve my own video editing. Even with Quinn and Joel, I think it's important for me not to get behind my editing knowledge. I'm putting together a rough cut for our first gaming house long form video. The house is making progress. Believe it or not, it takes a bit of time to build an entire house, especially for gaming. The LUTs that we're using as well, adjustment layers. I mean, everything on this is smooth and I hate to give it credit. It's doing a lot better than I thought it was going to. After completing a rough cut, normally I pass it off to one of my editors to do the final cut, you know, just adding in some sound effects, cleaning up the cuts, more graphics, work on the flow. Thankfully, we all have MacBooks here, so that's another win for the airdrop feature. I think I'm gonna focus on the ideation on the next YouTube videos, which we use two different platforms. We either use Trello or we use Milano. You know, we start everything in the Trello platform. That's where we jot down ideas, maybe some rough scripts, things of that nature. And then once we finalize what videos we're gonna create, we then move over to the Milano platform. And that's where we start posting pictures, of thumbnail ideas, writing out scripts, some hooks, you know, videos and content ideas that we've liked from other creators. So if you're a content creator in the space and you're just getting started, those are two platforms I would highly recommend. And I know we've been talking about the battery life multiple times in this video, but now we're sitting at 76%. So we've only gone down 20% battery life in about two to three hours with those tough applications running. So far, so good. After editing in the cafe for a few hours, we got a little hungry. We're gonna send them an invoice afterwards, don't worry about it. So we walked around <laughs> Breckenridge to find some dinner. Now, of course, it's busy on a Friday night, so there is a little bit of a wait. <laughs> Whoops, how did, how did that get in there? There's nothing like eating ice cream in like 12 degree weather in shorts. It's just nothing better, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm is that right, After slamming down some dinner, I honestly didn't need to use the MacBook much more. But before we leave tomorrow, there's one thing I need to test out on this laptop. Joel and Quinn are back here playing on the PS5 and I was like, hey, 
let me hop in. Let me play on the MacBook, see how it does. Now, I wanna make one thing extremely clear. I did not buy the M3 Max to play games, but we wanted to test it. We downloaded Fortnite onto the MacBook, and we didn't realize how bad it was actually going to be. We actually sat in queue for like 20 to 30 minutes and still not in the game while they're, uh, I don't know what they're doing back there, but looks like much more fun than this. Unfortunately, you can't crank 90s on a MacBook Pro unless you get a third-party software. I mean, step up your game, Apple. So I've really tried not to like the MacBook Pro. You know, the last month that I've been using it, it's been a lot better than what I was expecting. The workflow side of things, when you're editing, you air dropping, working Milanote, Trello, the one area that it's lacking, and I knew this going into it, was on the gaming side of things. We tried downloading Fortnite, trying to get play into it. So the issues of the compatibility on the gaming side, that's a big issue for me, especially being a gamer. But that's also why I have my gaming setups, the window PCs. So as a first time Apple user, I gotta give it a nine out of 10. So if this video gets, I don't know, 50,000 likes, huh? we may just have to create a Mac gaming station in the gaming house. Who knows?